Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Meat Boy. In this episode, we're going to go through the warps and the bandages of the Light World 5. I actually did the first half of this video once, or the first half of the first half, first quarter, I guess. Um, I got halfway through the warps, the second warp zone, and Meat Boy crashed. And then in my frustration of Meat Boy crashing, I forgot to save my audacity file that I had running. So the commentary was gone, the video was glitchy because of crashing. So we're just starting over. We're gonna do this whole shitty warp zone again. Which sucks because I hate, well I don't hate the whole thing. Most of it's okay. But I hate the third level of this warp zone with a burning passion. I'm also a little frustrated because I have to play the well, no, I'm not going to say I have to, because that sounds like I'm not enjoying it. I do enjoy it, but I have to record the uh, first level of the I Want to Be the Guy warp zone, and that, that whole warp zone's a bitch. A dirty bitch. Very hard. So anyway, uh, this is the first warp zone. It was found back in World 5.1, as I'm sure you saw me do. It was out in the open lowering you into a false sense of security because this warp zone's hard as hell. Maybe the hardest one in the game. The hardest regular one in the game, I can say with pretty much certainty. Uh, the I Want to Be the Guy one's really fucking frustratingly hard. But the Oven Limited continues in that one, whereas in this one you, uh, you only have the three lives you get per level. So, when I uh, game over three times in this level, which is a very good possibility, because the jump coming up here at the end is a bitch, I have to redo the whole thing, just to get back here to where I was. This jump right here is just mind-bogglingly difficult to me. Oh my god. Oh my god, I made it in one try? I made it in one try? Oh I've never beaten that in one attempt. No matter how many replays. That is the first time I've ever finished it in one attempt. It took me like six attempts last recording. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Actually, might be. I gotta show you where this one is. <laughs> it's in Worlds 5-7. I forgot that it's like right there. What you have to do here is you gotta get this key. Or not. Yeah, you have to get it while it's falling. Because you're on a time restraint here. You gotta be quick. You gotta go fast. Sonic the Hedgehog style. And then just come over here and fall down here and the warp zone's actually already gone. <laughs> already took too much time. Damn it. Mmm, man. Don't fuck this up. You had a beautiful run of skyscraper there. It's time to fucking be good. And there it is. Right there. So, we're getting ported to the kid's world. From I Wanna Be The Guy. Uh, anyone that hasn't played this game, I, I actually don't care for it that much. Uh, because it's really... The challenge isn't so much unfair as it is unpredictable. And... Like, in Meat Boy, you know when you're fucking up. It's very obvious when you're fucking up. Uh, and I want to be the guy that's like, oh hey, I hopped on a platform and it went up instead of down like all the other ones. And there was no way for me to, you know, know that until I actually jumped on it and died. So I won't die there again, but I'll die somewhere else again when I don't know what it's gonna do. The challenge isn't predictable, it's like really random shit. I'm not saying it's, like, horrible or anything. It has it has an appeal. You know, you it's like the boss of hell in in this game. You know, you learn the pattern. You, you probably die to everything at least once. And then once you've realized what you have to do each time, the game kind of becomes easy. Uh, I'm glad they didn't style his level after I Want to Be the Guy, because that would have been frustrating. It's just a very hard jumping puzzle here. Oh my god. And it takes a good long while to get through. Probably the first warp zone that I'm gonna have to employ some editing in. Damn it, man. Jesus. 
Because up till now I've been pretty much running warp zones. This one is not just runnable. Because I, I literally, I played through these levels once. Uh, and that was back when I 100% of the game. And I played through them to unlock this character. And I never uh, looked back. Because once you beat them once, you don't have to look back. Ooh, man, we're doing okay. Alright. Oh, God. Nice! Oh, that wasn't that bad. Alright, this is where I actually, the game crashed on me last time. So, kind of an annoying little slow-paced level, but, like, literally one false move, you die. I'm not a big fan of this level, really. I like that first one. That first one's fun. Wow! Alright. That's actually something I managed to not do in the last attempt at recording this, was die on that jump. I got that jump 100% every time. When I was dying, it was on uh, the spikes from the platforms, which I'm now doing fairly well. Damn, I didn't do that either. What the fuck? That's more like what was killing me before. <laughs> Man, oh, this level's just not fun. Not enjoyable in the least, because you can't just go. You have to sit here and wait for platforms. Man, I don't think that should have killed me. That should have killed me. That was just me being dumb. Okay. Alright, well... And I never made it further than this part in the last recording, so let's see how we do. Of course. I really don't understand why touching the side of spikes kills you. It's one small complaint I have. Because the sides probably aren't sharp. Ugh. I get it. I ran right into the point of it that time. I can't believe there are people that blind let's play I want to be the guy. Like, what, what are people thinking? <laughs> no, no one in their right mind wants to watch that. Trust me on that. Don't, don't let's play I want to be the guy unless you're going to, like, 100% run it in one try with no deaths. Like, unless you have that game memorized, like, the back of your goddamn hand, I don't even know why people bother. Hm. Okay. Ugh, got a little too cocky there. I mean, you guys pretty much see how this level goes. Probably just gonna go ahead and cut myself off here and pick up with you when I have a run that actually, you know, beats it. So yeah. Jesus, I forgot about this level. This level is so cool! I gotta admit, I love this level. If when I first saw it, I was like, what on fucking God's name were they thinking? And right now I'm thinking it again. There we go. Alright, 
basically you gotta time that double jump like your life depends on it because your life does depend on it oh god it's so brutal I love it this one's actually fun whereas that last one can just go s fucking die in a fire oh man come on oh come on that I was over it Damn, that was that was stupid. That was all my bad. Gotta make that double jump. Count. Ugh. Hmm. Listen, game. Hey. Let's not turn this into. Ugh. What I gotta stop doing is I gotta stop being so worrisome. I just gotta go. Oh, not like that. I meant down here. I gotta, like, stop waiting for another one. Alright, let's... Oh, yeah, man! Oh, fuck the police. Oh, damn it. I declare shenanigans on that last death. Oh, man. Ugh. Come on, come on. That's dumb. One more go by. Aw, oh, kid. You're a fuck. See, I feel like I'm over it on those. On some of these second ones when I'm getting hit. Like, maybe I'm just an asshole, which is a possibility. Ugh! Didn't move fast enough. Come on. See? I feel like I should be able to walk on the top of them, I think is what I'm... is what I'm feeling here. Alright, let's just fucking go. Or maybe not. I guess it starts you at just like the right point that you can't move. You have to worry about dodging the first one. Man, I really didn't want to edit out this whole like thing. I wanted to more alive more of a live experience, but I'm dying way too much to not do a little bit of editing here. <laughs> jumps they expect you to do right there, but we did it. Ugh. Um. Alright. Well. Nope. Oh, I see where I gotta go. Alright. Didn't see those. 
those before. And this all of a sudden became nowhere near as difficult as it looked. Eek! Alright. And done. <laughs> okay. I think I actually remember this one. This one looks familiar. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> there that goes. I remember this one being like a pain in the ass. Maybe it was to get the bandage. Because it doesn't seem that bad from like a, just a, whoa, okay. From just a uh, normal run standpoint. I say that as I just like mercilessly fuck it up, but. Okay. Wow, I really died to that of all things? That's shitty. Alright, well, catch back up with you guys when I'm back at. One three. Okay, let's give this another shot here. Again, I don't really think it's too difficult. I just stay. Uh... Oh, that's what it is. You you can't get rid of too much of that dirt, and if you do, you're not leaving yourself any room to screw up. Okay. All right. Let's not do that anymore. I see. And then you just rerun it. Oh, oh please. <laughs> Not so much rerun it as you do rerun that first part. Uh, and done! Not too bad. And that's gonna do it for the warp zones when uh, this picks back up, we'll be getting bandages. Okay guys, time to get some bandages. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the first one is here in World 1-2 of the Skyscraper Warp Zone from Level 1. And I hope you like running levels twice just to get your bandages. Because that's what you have to do. Instead of uh, going left up here at the top to get Bandit Girl, you go right and grab that key and you slide down to what ends up being the beginning of the level. You can see the little Band-Aid there in that little hole. And then you just run the level again as per normal. It's really not that bad. You know, if you can get through the level once, you can probably get through the level twice. But the level's still a pain in the ass, so... You probably don't want to deal with it. But you have to, if you shoot for 100% completion. And that was me almost fucking up really bad. The uh, next one's in World 1-3 of the same warp zone. Saw how much trouble this fucking level gave me when I was just playing it. I fucking hate it. They can fuck off. Uh, you know, yeah, you have to... The Band-Aid's not hard to get, it's just... Again, making this stupid series of jumps that fucks me every time. Anyway, the next one would be at 1-3, but in my video where I ran the world, I actually ended up grabbing it because it was in the way. So, you know where that one is. Anyway, this one's in uh, World 5-5. Five five. Hey, you just skip the button that makes the bridge go out. And you run over there, do that little wall jump, grab it. Come back, hit the button, run the level like normal. Pretty darn easy. Probably one of the easiest bandages in this world. The next one is going to be in World 5-9. This one's actually pretty well hidden. Uh, if you look up top, or above where I am now, you'll see some saw blades spinning. Uh, basically, you're going to get in there, jump, and grab it. It's kind of hidden behind that wall. You can see a little, like, pink pixel to give you an idea where it is. You have to be real on the lookout for it. And then you just run the level like normal. The uh, next one is in World 5.12. Uh, I actually ended up using the kid for this one, even though I said last video that I don't think I ever used the kid. I'm not 
sir I'm pretty certain that I did use him for this bandage and a couple other bandages later. Uh, that double jump is invaluable for shit like that. I can't imagine like how you would ever get that as Meat Boy. And we unlock Nyjah from Aquaria in the meantime. The uh, next one is going to be in the Warp Zone from 512, World 1-1 one, one of it. Uh, you can see it up there, right above that saw blade. I, uh... I actually managed to fuck this up quite a bit. Not so much, like, getting the bandage. I did that pretty, uh, pretty quickly. Or, like, di not dying, rather. I did it without dying. But I fucking... I had to run the stage here, like, three times before I finally grabbed it. Yep, overshot it again. And we get it on this run, I think. Yep. Really, it's not that hard. You just... You have to trust your ability to, you know, clear the saw blade there, which I was clearly having doubts. Anyway, the next one's in 1-3 one, here. I'm pretty sure you can see how you're supposed to get it. It's not really that out there. I actually did manage to uh, run this level pretty good. Because I know when I was doing it, I was talking about destroying that dirt wall in the lower right, and how if you get rid of the whole thing, you're pretty much fucked. Well, guess not. <laughs> I guess if you can pull the jumps off correctly, you're fine. Anyway, next one's down in 516. Uh, again, I cheese the level, completely skipping everything. And uh, then I just jump at the bandage until I get the right angle to uh, not be affected by the gravity orbs. Grab Band-Aid Girl and it's level over. The next one is in 518. Uh, I end up using Jill for this one. Um, the bandage is right up there above the key. As you can see, I grabbed it on the first jump and then I grabbed the key. Uh, her ability to slow her descent actually makes that really, really easy. I tried with Meat Boy a few times and I just couldn't get it, so... Yep, Jill's best for that. And the last bandage of this world is in World 520. Uh, you gotta run the level, you know, like normal. It's, it's actually very close to the end. Uh, it's this real pain in the ass to get to. It takes a lot of really, really precise timing. Oof. You gotta run to the right, and then, so they're all at the right of the wall there, and then you jump down, grab it, and time it really well. Make sure you're up there before the bridge comes back. Alright, that's gonna do it for the bandages. See you next time.